this morning, we've learned all about what a watershed is. And it's an area that collects all the rainfall and then takes it together and then it outlets to one place. So think of the watershed like a bathtub where you've got the shower is the rainwater and then it all slopes down in the bathtub and then collects down in that drain. So this includes all the farms and hills and valleys and cities and roads and ditches all going to one place. So where we live in the city of Guelph or the region Waterloo or the county of Wellington, we are in the Grand River watershed. So even though our local creeks and rivers could have different names like the Conestogo River or Irvine Creek, all of these same smaller creeks and rivers, they end up going to the Grand River. And this whole watershed is 6,800 kilometers squared. That's about the size of Prince Edward Island, our smallest province in Canada. So we're gonna take a few minutes and we're gonna use a map to figure out how the rain falls in our watershed. This is a map that's available through the Grand River Conservation Authority website. And perhaps if you've got this printed off through your teacher already, you can grab a pen and a marker and you can draw on this map or you can just follow along with me for the video. So it's probably weird to see a map that has this shape on it. It's super squiggly and doesn't have a lot of straight lines. And maybe you've seen a map of Canada or you've seen a map of your own town, but probably not one that looks like this. But like other maps you see, it's got a title on it, which tells you what the name of the map is. It's got a legend on it, which tells you about what the symbols on the map means. It's got a compass rose on it that tells you which direction is north. And it's got a scale on it to show you how far apart the various things on the map are from each other. So this map shows all the major rivers and it shows the minor rivers as well. So the large and small rivers in the Grand River watershed. If you take a look at it, you'll notice that it's got rivers shaped like a hand on it. There's five different major rivers on there. So there's the Grand River in the middle of the watershed. There's the Speed and Aramasa rivers coming to the, from the east through Guelph. There's the Conestoga River that comes from the west and the Nith River as well that ends up meeting the Grand River in Paris. There are also lots of other rivers and creeks in our watershed too. So now we're going to take a look at the map. The watershed or source of the river is where the river starts. Where do you think on this map the river would start? If you said it was at the top of the map or where the river is the smallest, you're right. So this is an actually fun fact is that this top area in Ontario is called the Headwaters and there are a lot of other major rivers that start up here too. So the Credit River that flows to Lake Ontario or the Nottosauga River that flows to Georgian Bay or the Saugeen River that flows to Lake Huron. Now, while water flows down from higher elevation to lower elevation or from a higher spot to a lower spot, it doesn't always mean that water flows to the bottom or to the south of the map. That's just how it works out in this watershed. So rivers in Northern Ontario flow to, flow to James Bay and rivers in Northern Canada flow to the Arctic Ocean. So can you figure out where your town or city is on this map? It's gonna be different for all of us. So if you're home or school or in the country, let's pick a town that's maybe close to where you live. The largest cities and towns on the map, they're identified in pink. So that's showing where the developed area is. In our watershed, the biggest towns and cities are Waterloo, Kitchener, Cambridge, Guelph. And then the county of Wellington, we've got other smaller towns like Rockwood, Alor and Fergus, Arthur and Drayton. And in Waterloo region, we've got Elmira and St. Jacobs and St. Clemens and Heidelberg, St. Agatha and Baden. When you found your city or your nearest town, let's draw a little circle there with your marker. And this is gonna be your starting point to figure out where the water flows. Now let's find the nearest stream or creek to that circle marker. So for our system, the water flows southward or down on your piece of paper. So with your marker, I want you to take that 
and follow that river all the way down. Eventually the water from the Grand River goes to a great lake. What great lake do you think that would be? If you need a hint, it starts with the letter E. It's our smallest great lake. If you said Lake Erie, you're right. But Lake Erie isn't the end. Do you know what happens to our water after it goes from Lake Erie? It goes over a big set of falls and then it goes through Lake Ontario before ending up in the Atlantic Ocean. You're right, you got it. So what we do here in our watershed can really impact what the water's like in the lake, in Lake Ontario by Toronto and all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. So this is a, a big example of our map of the watershed. And we've got tubes on here to show how some of the water will flow. So if you're starting up in Arthur and you started to throw a stick into the river up here, it would flow down the Conestoga River, going all the way through Waterloo and Kitchener where it meets up with the Grand River, down here through Brantford, all the way to Lake Erie. Similarly, maybe you go to school in Fergus or Alora. And you might be on the Grand River or you might be part of Irvine Creek. So if you threw a stick up here in the river, it would flow down the Irvine Creek, hit the Grand River, and then take the Grand River Express all the way down to Lake Erie. Because the system is all connected, you can really see that whatever you do impacts the system. So if you're over here in Guelph and you're enjoying a nice picnic in the park by the river, make sure you don't throw your garbage in the river here because it will end up floating down all the way to Lake Erie and then out into the Atlantic Ocean. So make sure you keep your litter in its place and make sure you keep the river clean.